Hello and welcome to the video on experimental design. Today I'm mostly going to be just talking about some terms, okay, some very important terms that you have to be comfortable with, okay, when we're talking about experiments or observational studies, okay. So let's start off with um, one of the most important ones, but this is the experimental units. And basically, um, these are the individuals. These are the individuals who will be getting getting tested. Or I should say a treatment is imposed. A treatment is imposed. Okay? All right. So now the factors. So what a factor is, uh, these are the explanatory variables. that may influence a response, influence a change, change, okay, or a influence a response. Okay, so for example, if I was doing an experiment um, on reducing blood pressure, okay, so a factor that may that may decrease blood pressure would be a drug. Okay? So a drug would be a factor. Or I could give um, a sugar pill, which is a placebo. Placebo. I could give that, and that would be a factor. Okay, that's one example. Another example is I could say, okay, well, I'm testing to see how well my clothes will get clean. So what's a factor that can affect the cleanliness of clothes. So one might be uh, detergent. So detergent could be a factor. Another factor could be temperature. Okay, so all these, etc. All these are factors. Okay, so levels, level, okay, and levels, okay, so what a level is, or these are specific values specific values the experimenter specific values the experimenter chooses for a factor chooses for each factor and let me give you a quick example for that so let's say um, um, for the detergent or for the getting it clean uh, one of the factors could be temperature, temp, okay? So each level, um, each temperature would be a level. So I could have it at 110 degrees, I could have it at 90 degrees, and I could have it at 80 degrees. So this is the factor, the factor is the temperature, and the experimenter has, has set three levels okay the different temperatures okay where um, a drug the, a, an example for the levels for the drug so you could have drug one okay and and then I could give it a different milligrams I could say okay well this level is going to be 200 milligrams and this level is going to be a hundred milligrams so here I have two levels and the factor would be drugs drug okay so the treatments are are all combinations are all combinations of the factors and levels okay and this is what's going to be um, imposed in your experiment uh, so you're going to give these treatments to the experimental units, okay? Um, let me just make a note real quick. If the experimental units are, are uh, humans, if they're humans, we usually call them subjects. 
Okay, anything else? If they're animals, we call them experimental units. Um, the trees, uh, there's a whole, you know, experimental units. There could be a bunch of them. Okay, now the now the response variable is very important, and, if, and the response variable is kind of tied to these factors. These would be considered the actual explanatory, and the response would be the y. Okay, so our response variable is is actually what we're measuring. Okay, this is the variable we are measuring. from our experimental units. Okay? So I have a person here. He gets assigned, let's say I have these treatment one, treatment two, treatment three, and he gets assigned here to treatment two. I go ahead and give him the drug Okay, I, I'm going to measure something before, measure his blood pressure before, and then I'm going to measure his blood pressure after. Okay, and I measure the response variable would be the change in the blood pressure. Okay, so the response variable is what we're measuring. Okay, so those are um, a few of the terms. Okay, so let's let's talk about one other thing before we stop. Let's talk about one other thing, and that's basically where this where, where the chapter starts. Okay, and and the chapter starts with um, whether it's an observational study or an experiment. Okay, so let me let me type this. This is going to be very important. Okay, an observational study is just when we observe a characteristic about the experimental units. Okay, and an experiment is when we observe a response after giving a treatment. So a treatment was imposed, a treatment was imposed for here, okay? These are very important because this is experiments we could actually can say cause and effect, okay? What, what the whole the whole idea of an experiment, okay, the whole idea of an experiment is to control the factors. Control the factors that may make a response. Okay? All the other factors we want to make the same. The only thing we want to be different is the actual factors that may affect, okay, the response. Okay, so the only way we really could do that was the experiment. So here we impose a, we observe a response after giving a treatment. So it's, it's important, we impose a treatment. We're an observational study, we just observe something that's happened in the past about the experimental units. We're not giving them, we're not giving anything, anything, any, we're not given a treatment in, the, in an observational study, we just observed facts that have happened from the fa in the past and measure that. Okay. All right. So that's it for uh, this video. Um, I actually changed it up and used a different software package this time. Hopefully, um, it'll look a little better. Have a nice day.